karma semua tidak jauh dah. Ini sana. Amerika ni apa? Tingsum. Siapa je? Ada ni. Germany. Ini tu Europe nalar le. Tapi Europe. Germany siapa le? Ada. Cina ada. Germany siapa le? Tapi ini ada tinggi yang kuat. I have this kind of tradition of karma. Mm -hmm. So in one I'm way you can say it may be tradition, in another way you can say it might be karma, but uh, it has happened um, uh, to have shaken out in the way that I have come to the United States three times in terms of foreign countries, and then in terms of uh, European countries, I've come to Germany twice. Germany is the only European country that I have a chance to travel to so far. So you could say that um, maybe this is in accordance with tradition, or you could say that this is the karma that I have. Um. เจ้าแต่ยุโรปที่ยุโรปทั้งหมดทานเยาวราชทั้งหมดเป็นจุดที่เนเบอร์ที่ชาร์จเยาวินยุสันเนี่ยเนี่ยเจอร์มันยี่
Susuki, a Lumbian on a country, not a demon of Chase, a Lumber Casagalia, Gabjur and Drogar, the Jig Nedam on the other, the Remigion Zendene, and the Tizan, Europe Nalolia, Immigration Senator, the Gabjur Young Yank, and Nedan Ton, the Chicagam of Chediachi, the Tajusiad, the Tajusiad, the Kalahavur Chadiachi, the Genizu on the other. And Anna Singi, Europe, Naloli, Minea. Different ethnic groups, some of the Chigi, Miri Dem, the Mongolia, the Tizu, Nalole, Chig, conflict. In some of the young there, Chichimongo, the other. Chesa Nidu, Yusulia, Mazuliata, Kandarji, Dendink, Taji. Knowledge is more right. Knowledge is woman, you say. And Azuki, Chigi, Nindo, Azuki, Takaras, compassion. Dana Singi, Chigi, care. Kajodaji, Simsen Chanzisha, Tigidi, Yaget Tonga, Chitang, Telea, Tonanche, Kajo, Junze, Chamber, or something. Um, these days in the world, we see that the world is facing a lot of problems all over the place. There is a lot of conflict and strife that is happening in the world. And due to these conflicts, uh, warfare and so forth, there are many displaced people, people who can't stay in their own countries but are forced into a situation of becoming refugees. And uh, uh, that's a problem in and of itself. And one of the problems that that in turn has created is an immigration um, crisis in Europe, in, in relation to which it is very hard to uh, come up with decisions uh, to solve this problem. And in a similar way, in Europe, there is a lot of conflict amongst different ethnic groups who live already within Europe. So the world in, in this way and others, uh, in these ways and others, is facing a lot of problems. And I think that, therefore, we can see that this particular time in the world is an important time for us to not only um, develop a quality of knowledge, but to develop the qualities of uh, compassion, strength of heart, uh, concern for others, um, affection for others, and care for them. And I think there's really a um, strong basis for developing these qualities of the heart if we look at what's happening in the world. They officially recognized or not. I'm not so sure. Officially it's maybe it's not a refugee, but actually it's a refugee. The refugee language some refugee, that Survive challenge, Nagayo, 
ဒီကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီးကြီး
So the results that are the experiences of these refugees are something that we can see very clearly ourselves. And to change the results that are the experiences of these refugees, we definitely need to take a look at what is causing their situation. What are the causes and conditions that are allowing this type of suffering to take place? And having can, taken a clear look at those causes and conditions, then we can begin to apply our motivation of love to try to alter the causes and conditions that are producing these types of result and thereby give some genuine assistance and some effective love to refugees who are in situations like this. For example, one of the main causes and conditions that produce these types of suffering is warfare. Um, these people's home countries are torn apart by warfare, and that's why they have to become refugee and try to take refuge in other countries. Um, and there are many other difficulties that these people are fleeing. And so uh, we really should try to uh, bear these difficulties in mind, develop concern about these difficulties, and the specific causes and conditions that are producing the results of these people becoming refugees. And I think only then we'll be able to uh, have and express a love that really brings peace and happiness to these people. Otherwise, um, the result is just going to continue in the same way, on and on. Social impact Oh, so sometimes um, when we don't really consider deeply the sufferings that others are going through, uh, if we don't contemplate it deeply along with its causes and conditions, it's difficult for us to have an impact on that suffering and it becomes easier for us to ultimately ignore it. Uh, but if we know the difficulties of other people very well, as well as the causes and conditions, and reflect upon that deeply, then uh, a sense of love will naturally arise in us for others. And when we have that love naturally present for others, then uh, it's much more of an automatic thing that we will actually do something that will genuinely help them. Yanaji,所有的人家也有,这是我的人家也有,这是我的人家也有,这是我的人家也有,这是我的人家也有,这是我的人家也有,这是我的人家也有,这是我的人家也有,这是我的人家也有,这是我的人家也有,这是我的人
All beings naturally have the capacity for compassion. I have great trust in this. However, uh, the compassion of most human beings is a biased type of compassion, by which uh, if the suffering of others doesn't directly impact us in some way, then it's difficult for us to care genuinely about them, uh, to care genuinely about their suffering. So until we feel impacted by uh, the suffering of others, um, we will not have a genuine feeling of compassion towards that, a genuine ongoing concern about that. Selfish boundaries, some of beyond that, selfish boundaries, some of the detail of a gage. It's a needy same member of Zira, needy gashable, the dizzy, Kadiski to Chalk, the Nizi Nanda, and that is Chamber in Nanda, the Karina, Kadiski of Chalk, Tore. That Diliaji, Kajre, eh, Dreamy Yuzane, D. Yuzadene, D. Semi Shisadi. Beyond our selfish boundaries, some that daily sale of a gage and a sample gadget which had to Jim. So I think it's then important for us to try to extend our compassion beyond our usual selfish boundaries. And this is really the key point with regard to all of the four limitless ones or the four immeasurables, whether you're talking about love, compassion, or what have you. Um, so it's important for us to consider how we can extend the qualities of the four limitless ones beyond our usual selfish, selfish boundaries to make them extensive and make them vast. So our practice then of developing these qualities of love and compassion is one of slowly shifting our focus so that we become other-centered rather than being continuously self-centered and continuously thinking of our own benefit as foremost we slowly slowly develop the ability to consider others and to become centered upon the welfare of others this is what we endeavor this is the quality that we endeavor to improve upon in a gradual manner and reduce some of the social sub interest, sub centered, some of selfish thing it is reduce your water, then your dance, Kazi to the jiggy, Simjin Shen so child, the Simjin Shen did that, centered with child, this some body, gets him shy. And so, if we really want to increase. Uh, the love that we have, the compassion that we have, in a way that is beyond mere lip service, but is truly genuine, then we must reduce the amount of selfishness that we have as much as we can. We need to try our best to reduce that. That's selfish. That is a Maybe that is not our goal, 
So, if you ask, uh, is it possible for us to get rid of all of our thoughts about the welfare of ourself alone? I think that the answer to that is it's no, it's not really possible for us to stop thinking about our own benefit um, completely. And I don't think that is even our goal. I think what our goal is to, uh, I think what our goal is, is to reduce the thinking about exclusively the benefit of ourselves and reduce the thinking that ignores the happiness and suffering of others. And along with that, to increase and improve upon thinking about the welfare of others, to deepen our concern for the welfare of others, and to make our concern for the welfare of others more powerful. I think that's the real goal. And in terms of the practice of the noble Avalokiteshvara or Chenrezig, I think that this is really the essence of what Chenrezig practice is all about. Uh, the form of deity become a form of deity. We, uh, in the Buddhist tradition, um, have the attitude towards Avalokiteshvara, that Avalokiteshvara is the singular embodiment or condensation of all of the uh, energy of the compassion of all of the Buddhas arisen in the form of a deity. That the power of compassion so when we practice Chen Rizik, um, what we are doing is that we are basically allowing for the encouragement of the compassion of all Buddhas to enter our own mind, to enter our own heart, to enter our own spirit, if you will. We are inviting the spirit of the compassion and the spirit of the energy of the compassion of all Buddhas into our own mind. That's what we're doing when we practice. <laughs> energy zones and energy source and 
source Maybe you can say imagination or maybe you can say try to be like that. So with Avalokiteshvara practice, uh, we are trying to kind of tap into the energy zone of limitless compassion, uh, to tap into the source of limitless compassion, and even to become like that. So you could say we're imagining um, that limitless compassion. You, you could also say we're trying to become like that. Um, that name, that deity form, which you mean, there are different forms and then in terms of the forms of Avalokiteshvara, there's different forms of this deity, uh, different um, uh, deity forms. Uh, some of the forms have two arms, some of them have four arms, some others have 1,000 arms, and so forth. There's different deity forms of Chen Rezi. The instruction that we're going to go through today pertains to the four-armed form, four form of Avalokiteshvara, and you could say that this is the basic form of Avalokiteshvara. Four qualities, and the four, rather than the quality, maybe it's activity. So this form of Avalokiteshvara has four arms, and if you ask what do these four arms represent, you could say that they represent four qualities, but actually I think more than that, uh, the four arms represent four different kinds of activity. So it's not just a quality, but an activity that's associated with those qualities. And those four are the four immeasurables. Immeasurable love, compassion, joy, and impartiality or equanimity. And again, not just the qualities of those four, but the activities that are connected to those four actions. Why his forearm, not forehead? That is so the forearm in God, the Gishuvan and Sink. Majun and Gin, Jig, Migi, Subig, Lara Leve Golia. That's so the Action. Some might ask, well, if it's the four immeasurables that need to be represented, why are they represented by four arms instead of, for example, four heads? Well, the reason why the four immeasurables are represented by four arms is because if we look at our own human body and the way that it expresses itself in activity, 
the main agents for our activity in a very immediate way as humans are our hands. And so therefore, the four immeasurables are symbolized by the four arms of the four hands of Avalokiteshvara. They are therefore symbolic of the way that Avalokiteshvara performs the benefit of sentient beings by means of the four limitless ones, the four immeasurables. They symbolize just how dedicated uh, and just how concerned Chen Rezik is about the welfare of sentient beings. And for um, sometimes I think that will sending some clear message. That some of us are not dancing. That we are dancing just for them. That they are like a monster. But I should have seen. Missing that the joy of having a the champagne is how monster drops out. This is message delivered. I am not telling you. I personally think that. The fact that Avalokiteshvara has just one head and four arms itself sends a very clear message. And the message is, don't think too much, but instead do more stuff, do more work for the benefit of sentient beings. thinking too much information that digging a solution. Understand Chiagi. Actually, it's helping us to understand. But in that dig, understand much as you to go in your sin, more complicated. Maybe we become more complicated. And then as you dig more information, some of the bomb and see the mantash. Then you just done it. Information, understanding of Chibi Pingamindo, that day, how to transform that understanding into your heart. So, whatever that is, so the Lebena, you have a day, condition, so the same is somewhere, condition, got a transform of Chiavat. That you get a condition, I have a day, case of Mr. Aisha. These days, we live in an era of information. Information helps us to understand things, but at the same time, when we're overloaded with information, it makes our lives more complex, more complicated. And sometimes we feel as if these bombs of information are dropping on us that we don't know how to process. So therefore, the key practice in this information age is uh, to figure out how we can allow this information to transform our heart, to use information in a way that benefits our heart, and relate to information skillfully so that our heart is transformed. Because just having the information alone isn't enough. That won't accomplish the benefit. We have to figure out how to use information or relate with information skillfully so that our heart is transformed. But very simple. I just not thinking too much, someone. The name is Uncle heavy in there. The jig, one hundred percent, someone the jig, no longer simple anymore, somewhere. And then you say, so 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 trust, hundred percent trust, yeah,
When I was young, growing up in Tibet, the area I lived in was very simple, and people led very simple lives. They didn't think too much, and as a result of that, uh, whatever activity they were engaged in, they gave a hundred percent of themselves to that activity. Uh, whatever thought they had in their mind, they gave a hundred percent of that uh, of their trust uh, to that thought or that belief, and they were consequently very much in sync in terms of their actions and their intentions. Uh, whatever intentions they had in their mind is what they practiced in terms of their actions. Generally speaking, um, that was a much more prevalent phenomenon amongst the people. But these days, we seem to have an overload of information and an overload of thinking too much. We don't really lead simple lives either. And because of this, I think it's very difficult for us to uh, arrive at a state of 100% trust in our mind and due to that it's difficult for us to have our actions sync up with our intentions in a 100% way um, so it's it's very difficult for us to be um, devoted in our actions uh, in a way that correlates 100% with uh, the beliefs that we have in our mind uh, because our minds are more uh, complicated, and it's more difficult for us to have a hundred percent trust in something. We're on time, yeah. Even I'm from India. <laughs> Because of your blessing. <laughs> <laughs> he says, even though I'm from India, I've managed to end exactly on time. Because, because of your blessing. And <laughs> <laughs> At 6 p.m. we're going to have another teaching session, and during that session we'll discuss further the four immeasurables and their practice. And in particular, I will do my best to, um, uh, to speak as best I can about how we can practice the four immeasurables uh, in the context of one day of our regular lives. <laughs> That it's kind of type of one initiation. The in the meditation transmission. Generally, the meditation transmission of chi. That the garas and chi. That na bi pege la gumlung se la gumlung. Ah, jo gum jagi jo chhe. And the ma transmission of chhe. And di gi the general of chhe chhe. And the transmission the nyam do the meditation cheju lomatsu meditation cheju the nyam the transmission tiki tiki ya ji drutop korange ma lung di chiki chiki the nyam the transmission the nyam the transmission that is type of one one gajig dup chiri sha actually it's initiation so um in terms of the schedule uh, we're scheduled to have an Avalokiteshvara empowerment tomorrow, 
but I've been thinking about this and uh, giving it some second thought uh, because I think that a lot of you have already received the Avalokiteshvara empowerment and probably uh, many of you have received it several times. There's also an Akshobhya empowerment scheduled for later on in the program and that means that we have two uh, scheduled empowerments or Abhishekas as part of the overall visit. And uh, I think that if we had two empowerments, that 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 would that would be too many, really, and it would uh, decrease the value, the sense of value of both empowerments. So, therefore, um, what I think would be a better way to go is that if we, instead of doing the traditional Avalokiteshvara empowerment, we approach the Avalokiteshvara practice in the manner of doing. Uh, what might be called a meditation transmission, which is called gomlung in Tibetan. And this really is a type of empowerment, but it's just not the, the, uh, what's, what's customarily regarded as the Avalokiteshvara empowerment these days. Um, but what you do in that context of the meditation transmission is that uh, the teacher gives instructions on the meditation. Um, the teacher also reads the sadhana or liturgy uh, and has the students repeat that. Uh, and so um, the liturgy transmission is given and the meditation instructions uh, for the visualizations and so forth are given and the students actually practice those instructions while they are receiving them. So this is called a meditation transmission and, and really, truly speaking, it is a type of initiation. It is a type of empowerment. So I think it's better for us to approach the practice in that way. So that's what we'll do.